Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a MailerLite um, opt-in form to your website so that you can start capturing leads, building your email list, and um, this is just a really quick way to get started. Now, if you are using MailerLite for your email service, and if you're using Elementor for your WordPress website, this is going to be very helpful, very applicable to you. If you're using something besides Elementor, you're gonna need to, or besides MailerLite, you're going to need to do a little bit of Google research to figure out um, the exact process for you. This will give you a good overview, um, but likely the sort of user interface, the way that the dashboard of your email marketing service works and everything like that will be different. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead. All right, so first you're gonna come over here to MailerLite, you're gonna come over to Forms and Embedded Forms, and then you're gonna hit Create Embedded Form, and then you're gonna give your form a name. I'm just gonna call it Test Form for our purposes, but I would name this after your freebie, after whatever um, free thing it is that you're giving away. That way in future, if you have multiple freebies in MailerLite, you can know which form is which. Click Save and Continue, and then we are going to select our subscriber group that we want to send this to. Now, I would I like to create a unique subscriber group for every form. That way, it's easy for me to, in the future, set up automations that are attached to the form. We're not going to do that in this video, but um, I highly would recommend setting up an automation for your opt-in. In this case, I've already created a group. I'm just going to, it's called just Unwelcomed Test. As you see, I like to name my unwelcomed groups after um, the freebie. And the reason why I have the unwelcomed group separate from the welcomed group, which is like the bulk of my subscribers, is because I don't want subscribers getting my automation emails at the same time they're getting my weekly newsletter. So I only send my weekly newsletter wel to welcomed after anyone finishes an automation, they're automatically moved into the welcomed group. All right, now you've hit your group. No, you've, you've selected your group, click Save and Continue. And then this is where we're actually gonna be able to edit our MailerLite form. I promise it's not hard. Um, there's just a couple of things we're gonna, we're gonna edit and then we'll be able to get the code for the form and put it on our site. <clears throat> Sometimes the MailerLite builder takes a minute to load. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna delete this newsletter um, title and, sub and subtext because I've already got a headline on my website above the form. I don't need this. So just hit the trash can, hit remove. Then I'm gonna edit the email label. I'm gonna hit add field. And then I'm gonna edit the field. So it just says, the label says first name. So I only want people to give me their first name. And then I wanna check, yes, I want this to be required. I'm gonna click save changes. And then I'm gonna hover over this little hamburger and then click and drag it so that first name comes above the email. That's just what I'm used to filling out. So that's how I like my forms to be. I click save and then I'm going to edit the subscribe button here by clicking the pencil and then I want to say something like send me the tips because this is an opt-in for my weekly website uh, newsletter my weekly website tips and so um, I want the button to be a little more descriptive and you just hit save once you're done there and then you can edit the design of the form if you want to you don't have to you could leave it as is but I like to you know I'm a designer I like mine to look really good so first thing um, I'm just going to edit the in the inputs and I'm gonna pull up my style guide. You'll see here that this is the style guide that my brand designer created for me. Her name's Dina Rudder, she's amazing. I work with her on most of my website projects. Um, and I'm gonna use this Montserrat font for, my, uh, for this form. So I'm gonna hit input and then I'm gonna select the font family dropdown. And I'm gonna hit Montserrat. You know, if you have a style guide, your font may not be on here and that's okay. Just hit one, select one that is similar to one that you have on your style guide. And then the border radius, which is just the roundness of the of the corners, I like that to be zero. I, I just like that to be really clean and crisp. Um, so now you see they're extra pointy in my form. I'll click save. And then the second thing I wanna edit design, why, uh, design wise is just this button. So I'm gonna select the button. I'm gonna come over here and grab the red from my style guide. Just copying that and pasting the hex code in there. And then the background hover, I'm going to actually change to be the black from my style guide. Copy paste that hex code. Yeah, that looks much more on brand for me. And then the font family, again, I'm going to select that Montserrat and then I'm going to change the border radius to be zero. Now you see the button is super crisp and clean in the corners and the color matches my, my style guide really well and hit save. And that's pretty much it for the design and the form. Now, the only other thing left to edit on this form is the success page. So 
the thank you page or whatever you want to call it, success page, confirmation page. It's what they see after, what a user sees after they put in their name and their email. And you know, if you want to just use MailerLite's built-in success page, you can. You just come up here to success message and then you can edit this text to be whatever you want it to be. I really like to have my own like custom thank you page. It just feels a little classier to me. So to add your own custom one and override the success message, you just come over here to settings and then check the custom success page box. And then um, I'm just going to, I've got, the, this is my thank you page that I want to use for this form. So I'm going to copy the URL and then I'm going to come over here to MailerLite and I'm going to hit um, uh, control V to paste it. And that's it. All right. That's it for our form. I'm going to select next and that will load in um, the page that has the code on it that we can use to put this form on our site. So in the meantime, we need to get our opt-in page ready. So this is the page I've created where I want to put this form. You'll see it just, it's really simple. It's just got a picture of me and then my logo and a headline um, that kind of provides uh, a little context. And so now we just need to add the form. All right. And to do that, you'll come over here to search widget in the top left and you'll come and type in HTML and you'll click and drag that into the um, opt-in area. And then you'll see we have an, a place to paste our HTML code right here. Um, so I'm gonna come back over to the MailerLite test form. Um, this is sort of like the summary page for our form. Now I do recommend turning off. So I'm gonna toggle this off, double opt-in. I do not like having double, double opt-in on. That basically requires anyone who subscribes in my form to go to their email and hit a confirmation button before um, they get added to my list. I don't want to do that. I, I think that I lose users when I do that. I would prefer just going in and cleaning up my subscribers every six to 12 months um, to clean up anyone that was like a bot or inactive. So um, turn off double opt-in and then you're just going to scroll down here under embed form into your website and you're going to click HTML code and then you're just going to copy that code to your clipboard. You don't need to edit it. You don't need to do anything with it. Um, and then come back over to your Elementor page. And then I'm just going to control V to paste in all of that code. And you'll see that it puts in the form right on the site, nice and clean. Um, and then I'm going to hit update in the bottom left to save the page. And then the only thing left to do is to test this page. So to test it, I'm going to hit... Um, Let's see, I'm going to select this eyeball to preview my changes in the bottom left. And then you'll see that opens up the opt-in page. I'm just going to put in a, a generic email that I use to test things. And then I'm going to hit send me the tips. And then it will direct us to the thank you page. So check that's working. And then we can go check our email or actually go check MailerLite to see... Um, I'm going to go to subscribe to groups and this unwelcomed test group. And you'll see that that email was subscribed. So we know our form is working. We know that our thank you page is working and we are good to go. So that is how you add a MailerLite form to your um, website page using Elementor. I hope that was helpful. If you are um, in the process of DIYing your website and you want some, some tips and helps, uh, help from me, I actually have a, um, a free guide with my top five tips for getting started with your coaching website. Um, and what you'll learn is how to manage your site using the most popular tool on the internet. You probably already know it's WordPress. <laughs> Design your content quickly and sleekly with professional results. And then you'll have the tools also to know how to solve any problem that you might encounter because you're going to tech problems will happen. You're going to have stumbling blocks. And so this just gives you some insight into how to solve those problems. All right. There's a link to this opt-in um, down below this video. So if you want to go get this free guide, um, head down there and check it out. Otherwise, um, subscribe to my channel if this was helpful so that you can get future tips to up-level your coaching business. Thanks.